Hello, good morning, this is Sam. I am at the clinic this morning and I am going to do the usual Friday 6.30 class and I'm going to stream it um, for all of you. So find a comfortable position at home. Hopefully you have a mat. If you don't have a mat, use a carpet. Um, make sure you're comfortable and you're ready for the session. So this session is a beginner's class. It is good for anyone who is in pain, maybe some neck pain or some back pain, okay? And this is for the usuals that have been coming for a few sessions with us. So it's for Josephine, Mary, Moira, Charmaine, Caroline, and Isabel, okay? Um, this class is for you and I really miss you. It feels really surreal that I am at the clinic on my own. Um, but the circumstances dictate that we need to, you know, <laughs> stay at home more. But don't stop exercising. Very important. So I'm going to give you a 30, 40 minute usual class. Hope you enjoy it. Off we go. So starting in standing, nice and tall. Feet close to each other, knees soft. Breathe into prepare. Bending the knees, breathe and lift. Breathe out, lower the hands, bend those knees. Breathe in, let's warm up our body. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And again, breathing in. Stretch, breathe out. Breathing in, lift, stretch. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, good, and breathe out. Few more, lift, and lower. And again, lift, stretch, and lower. And again, lift, stretch, and lower. And again, lift, and lower. Drop the shoulder blades down, feet slightly apart. We're going down towards the floor, just warming up, nice and easy. Down towards the floor, touching the floor if you can, don't worry if you can't, okay? Knees stay apart, back stay soft, nice and easy, off we go, down. Three, four, five, and five, four, three, two, one, good work, standing up nice and tall again, feet closer to each other again. Sorry, I'm new to this, so <laughs> I've never videoed myself in my life. Feet close to each other, open your hands, palms facing the front of the room. Chin down towards your chest, bring your hands together as you breathe in. Breathe out, open. So chin down towards your chest, bring your hands Forward, curl it up and back, give it a good stretch. Breathe out, open. Breathe in, chin down towards your chest. Breathe out, open, lift up from the chest, open here. And again, work with your breathing. And open. And again, close. And open. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And let's do one more. Bringing those hands together, stretching the spine. Open. Good. And stretch. And breathe. Arm circles, take those arms back. Let's take them one at a time. Big circles, feet those shoulder blades working. Taking them back, stretch. Good, take them back. Three, four, five, and five. Four, three, two, one. Let's do both together. Up. And back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Two, squeeze those shoulder blades. Again, stretch and lower. Stretch and lower. And again, good. Five, five, four, three, two, one. And release. 
it's feet slightly apart. Imagine there's a chair behind us. We're sitting on the chair and up again. Sit on the chair and up again. Nice and slowly. We're still warming up. Hands on your thighs, hands on your hips, hands forward. It doesn't really matter. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Sit on that imaginary chair. Off we go. Back stay straight if possible. There's a chair behind me. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good work. Feet close to each other again. Stretch those hands again. And off we go to the right. Stretch. Breathe out. Back to center. And breathe out. Stretch to your left. And change. And again, stretch. Breathing out. And center. And repeat. And center. And again, breathing out. And center. Breathe out. And center. Lower one hand down. Breathe out. Bend the knees this time. Bend the knees. Breathe out. Stretch. Slide that hand up. Go a little bit further. Hold that position. Feel the pull in your waist. Yeah, hold it there. Head is relaxed, no tension in the head and shoulders. And return, you change hands again. So we're bending the knees again. Sliding down, no tension in the head. Hold. And let's repeat nice and slowly, squat hands. Off we go, bend the knees, stretch. See if you can go a little bit further. Hold. And let's change. Stretch. Breathe out. And change. Let's do one more on each side. Off we go. Bend the knees. Stretch. Good. And let's change. Bend the knees. Good. And release. Well done. Okay. So let's stay. Feet a little bit apart. Okay. And let's start with elbows in our waist, knees soft. Stretch those hands back. Feel your shoulder blades. And release. And again, open as you breathe out. And release. And again, open as you breathe out. And release. And again, four. Good. Five. Good. Take those shoulders back. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and release. Hands on your hips. We're going to balance on your left leg. Bring the right knee up towards your hip. In line with your hip. Off we go. We're balancing on the left. From there, stretch both hands up towards the ceiling. Hold your balance. Shoulders stay down. Make sure you're not up here. Shoulders are relaxed. Good work. From there, get right foot tiptoe back. As you lean forward just a tiny bit. And up we go again. So this is really working that left leg. Off we go. Tiptoeing back. Bring it in line with your hips. And back. Three. Good. And again. Four. Lift. And again. Five. Good. Can you feel that left leg working? Left glutes hopefully kicking in as we lift. Really challenging on the shoulders as well, because we need to keep those shoulders relaxed. If this is really difficult, if you really find there's tension in the shoulders, hands go on your hips as you step back. One more. Good. And let's change. So left knee up, knee in line with your hip. Find your balance first, make sure you're really nice and strong. We're going to lift both hands up. Again, make sure your shoulders are not there. Down. Core engaged as we tiptoe back with that left foot and then we bring it back up. So it's the right leg doing all the work here. Two, three, four, five. Keep going. Five more. I'm changing the hand position for those who have tension in the neck and shoulders. Keep your hands down on your pelvis. It's much easier. Just focus on the legs. Two, 
one and release. Let's change legs again. Bring this leg up. Choose the position. So hands up here on your hips. Choose your level. As we do in class, off we go. One, two. Bend that left knee a little bit as you lean back. Four, five. And again, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Change legs. I'll do it sideways so you can see. Hands up. Tiptoeing back. Can you see straight back? No arching. And up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Lower your hands if there's tension in the neck and shoulders. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good work. Standing nice and tall. There's a chair again behind us. We're a bit warmed up, hopefully, by now. Off we go. Sitting on the chair. Knees apart. Straight back. Then sit on the chair for three, two, one. Up. Let's sit on the chair again. Off we go. One, two, three. And up. And again, sit on the chair. One, two, three. And up. And down. And up. And again. And up. Five more. Knees facing forward. Don't let your knees roll in. Nice and strong on the legs. And up. And again. Four. And up. Last three. Down. And up. And down. Knees facing forward. And last one. One, two. Three and up. Good work. How is everyone feeling? Is it okay? Let's do half a row. Let's go going down, up to the knees. I'll show you in sideways. Chin down towards your chest. Shoulders relaxed. Rolling up to the knees, stretching the spine. Rolling back up. And again, chin down towards your chest. Slide your hands down, up to the knees. And roll back up. And again, let's do two more, nice and slow. And roll back up. And again. And roll back up. Good. And release. All right, let's get down on the mat. We're starting in four point kneeling. Okay, so that is on our hands and knees, knees in line with our hips, wrists in line with our shoulders, straight backs. Okay, nice and relaxed. So start with some stretching. So we're stretching back into child's pose as you breathe in. We're not holding that position because we're coming back up, moving the hips forward. And then again, take those hips back. Into child's pose, stretch and bring those hips forward and repeat, breathing in and breathing out and again, breathing in, stretch into child's pose and breathing out, bring the hips forward. Let's do four more, stretch back. And bring them forward. If it's comfortable, you can even start lowering those hips down. This is not comfortable for everyone. Okay, so it's really up to you how far you go. We're not holding because we're going back, taking those hips back. And then again, bring them forward to whatever feels comfortable to you today. Remember, we all have different days, different flexibilities, different levels of pain. Let's go back. And let's go forward. Last two. Take those hips back. Breathe out. Bring those hips forward. See how far you can go. And last one. Good. And forward. 
back and forward kneeling. Make sure the wrists are again under your shoulders. From this position, we're going to take the chin down towards your chin. Bring that upper body up. Stretch. Breathe out. Lift the head up. Look up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Come in. Stretch. Lift your upper body. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more stretches. Pretend you're a cabin. Drop the head down. Pretend you're a cat. Lift up. And again, one more. And lift. And release. All right, from this same position, you might want to relax your wrist a little bit. If it's a little bit too much pressure on your wrist for those who suffer from wrist problems. Okay, and we're back in four point kneeling. I want a really straight back. And check your balance. Make sure you're not shifted to the left or to the right, or maybe too forward or too back. You should be really centralized. From here, let's slide the right foot back. Keep the toes on the floor. All right. From that position, we're going to lift that right leg off the floor just a tiny bit and then lower it down. So the aim here is to keep the pelvis and core really straight as we lift and lower. Off we go together. Lift and lower. Make sure you're not arching your back. Okay, common mistakes. Make sure you haven't shifted forward as you do this exercise, okay? But you're still in the center, still strong on your hands as you lift and lower. Again, don't lift too high, that's too much. In line with the hip, off we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and change. Slide the left leg away. Before you lift, check your hips, check your pelvis, check your head. Okay, make sure you're balanced and lift. Two, three, four, five, and five, four, three, two, one. Let's change legs again. Slide the right leg away. Again, take note of what's happening. Off we go. One, two, three. Four, five, and five. Four, three, two, one, and change and slide the opposite leg and lift. Two, three, four, five, and five. Four, three, two, one. Slide it back in. Slide the right leg out again. This time we're lifting and holding. This is level one, okay? So we're making sure again that we haven't leaned forward. We're still in the center. Elbows are soft and the head is still up here. We're still looking down, but we haven't lost the head somewhere over here. Level two, if you can, if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, lift the opposite hand up. So that's your left hand. We're holding for 10. And return. Slide the left leg away. Lift. Check your hips, elbows, shoulders, neck. This is level one. Level two, lift the opposite hand up and hold for ten. And return. Let's repeat. Slide the right leg away. Choose your level. Level one, we stay here, nice and strong. Level two, lift the opposite arm. And let's change, slide the left leg away. Level one, level two, lift the opposite arm. And release. Let's do one more, slide the right leg away, lift. Opposite arm, if you're going for a slightly more challenging pose today. And repeat, slide the left leg away, level one, hold it there. Opposite arm for level two.
and release. Good work. From that position, turn over on your side, knees and feet together. So we have a few options over here. So you can either lean on your elbow, but some people find that uncomfortable, so you can lean on your hand like this. If that is uncomfortable, feel free to go all the way down, maybe even with a pillow or pushing under your head. So choose whatever is comfortable, especially if you have neck and shoulder problems. Okay, this is more comfortable for me, so I'll stay here. Knees and feet together. And you need to make sure that your hips are in line, stacked on top of each other. So we're not rolling back like this, okay? If anything, I'd rather you a little bit more forward. Clamp, opening that knee as high as you can without any movement in your back. And return. And off we go, opening. So I'm not using any terabands or any fancy equipment today because I'm not sure what everyone has at home. Okay, so this is really basic Pilates. And open. You should feel that the glutes working. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and another set. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Lie down flat from this position. Stretch those legs. Make sure you can see your toes so they're not too far back that you can't see them. So if you look down, you should be able to see your feet. Use this hand for support, okay? So use this hand to support you. Top leg goes up. Again, not too high, okay? Till about there. Again, you should feel that this is on. And now, two, three, four, Five and five, four, three, two, one, one more set, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Bend both knees, place the top knee on the floor. Now relax completely on the mat, both hands on top of each other, palms facing each other. Breathing in to prepare, breathe out, lift that top hand and reach, lift it up towards the ceiling and all the way to the floor if you manage. Breathe in, bring those hands together. So this is a really nice stretch for your upper back. Breathe out, open, lift, lift it all the way back, stretch. Breathe in and return. Let's do three more nice stretches. Open, keep that knee on the floor and return. And again, breathe out and close. And one more open. Good. And release. Okay, turn over on your other side. So I'll do this so I can see you. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Choose your position. Remember, you can stay in this position or in this position or completely flat. Whatever is comfortable for you. Knees and feet together. Hips in line. Open, clamp. Off we go. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Feel the glutes working over here, somewhere here. Eight, nine, ten, and again. One, two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Stretch both feet out. Okay, again, make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you can see your feet. Top leg goes up and down. Kick. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This hand for support over here in front of you. And ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend both knees. Top knee on the floor in front of you. Both knees together, top knee on the floor. Rest your head, palms on top of each other. 
We're stretching, breathing out, open. Take that hand as far back as you can. Feel that work. Breathe in, close. Breathe out, open. Stay looking at that hand, rotate your head, following the movement. And close. And again, open, breathe out. And close. And again, breathe out, stretch. And close. And one more, breathe out. And release. Good. From there, keep on turning on your backs. Knees bent, feet on the floor. Okay. So make sure you're comfortable, preferably nothing under your head to start off with. Hands by your side. We're starting with the bridging. So flatten the back completely flat. Lift those hips up as high as you can. Remember, no tension in the neck and shoulders. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Let's hold them up for five. And slowly lower down. Really taking those vertebrae down one by one, nice and slow. And repeat, flatten that spine, lift those hips as high as you can and hold. Make sure there's no tension in the neck and shoulders. And slowly roll that spine down. And repeat, flatten, lift. And lower. Breathe in, flatten, lift. And lower. Good. Let's do two more bridges. Rolling that spine, lifting. And lower. And one more, lift. And lower. Or from there, bring the right leg into tabletop. So the knee in line with your hip, leg parallel to the floor. Lift both hands up, palms facing each other. From there, we're going to stretch that right leg out and down, and then bring it back in. Stretch that leg, point, lower it, and back in. And repeat as you breathe, and return. And I want you to also keep an eye on your shoulders. Again, no tension in the shoulders as your hands are up. Stretch, and return. Stretch. And return. Three more. Stretch and return. Two and return. Stretch and return. Short break. Left leg and tabletop. Stretch and return. Two and return. Three and return. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Rest your hands, rest your leg. Right leg and tabletop again. Lift both hands up again. We're going to make it a little bit more challenging. If this is too much, stick to what we've just done prior to this. But the new challenge is left hand goes up as we stretch the right leg away. And then we bring them back to center. Left hand goes up as we stretch the right leg away. Bring them back to center. Keep an eye on what's happening to your spine. You should still be in neutral, meaning there is no movement underneath your back. There's no arching, there's no flattening. If there is, go back to the previous exercise, which is easier. 
five, four, three, two, one. Rest your legs, rest your hands. Left leg and table top, both hands up. Choose your level. Either your hands stay here and you reach with the leg only. Level two, right hand reaches back as you stretch the left leg and then return. Right hand reaches back as the left leg stretches out and return to center. Remember to work with your breathing. Remember shoulders stay relaxed at all times and you're still in neutral spine. No movement happening in your lower back. And three more. Good. And release. Rest your hands, rest your neck. Right leg in tabletop again. Hold that position, both hands up. Just the hands, both of them, go back behind your head and back to center. Again, keep an eye on what's happening in your spine. There should be no movement at all. You're in neutral spine, tummy in. No flattening and no arching. Stretch. Good. One more. Good. Change legs. Left leg and tabletop. Take both hands behind. And return. Two. Three. Four. Five, and lower your hands down. Good. From that position, let's place the right foot on the left knee. Place both hands behind the left thigh. Pull everything towards you. Feel that stretch. So you should feel a stretch somewhere here. Maybe in your lower back as well. And breathe. And let's change next. So left foot on the right knee, pull everything to you, towards you. Good, and release. All right, let's do one more in this position. Hands behind our head, knees bent feet on the floor. Breathe into prepare. Breathe out. Gently lift that head off the floor and lower. So there is no tension whatsoever. We are not pulling the head up, okay? We are gently supporting the head. It's the tummy muscles working as we lift and lower. If you've had neck surgery, you have a neck pain today, currently you have a headache, I don't suggest you do this exercise, so maybe choose one of the previous ones, which we've done before. The rest, remember, we're breathing out as we lift, breathing in as we lower. Elbows stay wide and open. And repeat. Good. Let's do five more. Lift, low, lift, lower, three, lower, two, and lift, and lower. Good. Open your hands out. Both knees drop to the right. Stretch. Look towards your left hand. Hold that position. And change, drop both knees to your left, look towards your right as you stretch. And repeat, breathe out as you stretch your lower back. And change, breathe out. And release. Okay, turn over in a sitting position. 
Okay, so choose your comfortable position. So it could be this position for some, it might be this position for others. You might want to sit against the wall. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay, choose your most comfortable position. We're going to finish with some stretching. All right, so from here, let's put this hand down on the floor and then lower the elbow on the floor, lift the opposite hand up, stretch. Breathe out, stretch a little bit more. And change, so one hand on the floor, then the elbow on the floor, opposite hand, lift, stretch sideways. Breathing out. And back to center. We're going to do this again, but we're going to go a little bit deeper into the stretch. So we're going in on our elbows, stretching sideways. From there, we're going to start twisting, creating a bit of a rotation. And again, this is, this is the area of feeling the stretch. So I really want you to find the area that's tight and see if you're able to find it and stretch. And let's change sides. So we're going sideways. And then we're adding a little bit of a twist and go further into the stretch. Good. And release. Okay. Let's finish with stretching our hamstring. So stretch one leg out, bending the other knee. And slide your hands as far forward as you can. Now we all have different flexibility, so for, for some of you it will be really easy to touch your toes, for some of you this is your limit, and it doesn't really matter, as long as you're feeling that gentle pull at the back of your hamstring. Okay, breathing out, hold that position. Good, and let's change, so stretch the opposite leg up, from here slide your hands forward until you feel the pull, wherever that might be, hold that stretch. Good, and release, alright, and we're going to finish in standing again, so if you slowly stand up, And we're going to do a forward roll. So chin down towards your chest, roll all the way down now. We're nice and warm, so we can really stretch that spine. Bend the knees if you need to, it doesn't matter. And roll back. And let's repeat, chin down towards your chest, roll all the way down. And roll back up. Good. Well done. Okay. Hopefully that feels great on your bodies. Hopefully it gave you a really nice feeling that we've woken some muscles up. We've used the tummy, we've used the glutes, we've used the quads, but we've also given a really nice stretch to your spine. I hope you enjoyed it. Please bear with me. As I've said, this is all new to me. Um, <laughs> so, um, but I hope you enjoyed it and we'll do more of this. Take care, enjoy your day, stay safe. And remember, keep moving even from within our homes. We can do a lot. Bye-bye.